Hey guys, welcome to Wake Up Calls Workshop. So, reason I'm in disguise is because I had a request on my Facebook page. So, here it goes. Wade's World, Wade's World, Turkey Time. Excellent. That was for you, Jamie. Alright. Uh, I had to get my uh, Wayne's World hairdo going today. So, anyway, what we're doing is talking a little bit about helping your turkey hunting a lot turkey hunting along um, you'll notice that the sound quality is a little bit better that's because we're using a uh, little old microphone right there it's really difficult to point at but uh, anyway um, pick that thing up to actually help my turkey hunting say so went to Walmart picked up a little desk microphone ripped it apart and uh, built a windsock for it and hooked it up to a uh, one of those little voice recorders. Um, I was looking at voice recorders the other day because for some reason I'm not able to find mine again. Um, but they're they run from anywhere from thirty five dollars on up to a couple of hundred dollars. Um, but if you pick up one of them, get you one with you know good internal memory, good battery life. Um, they're a good source. To teach you how your calling's doing, um, my hair's a little crooked, I'm trying to get it straight. But uh, what you do, you take it, you turn it on at the beginning of your hunt after you find your spot that you're going to hunt. You throw it to the side, uh, generally about 10 feet away from you is real good. The reason you do that, and you just let it run. Re reason you throw it about 10 feet away from you is because your calling is really loud on the on the videotape. I mean on the uh, audio tape so uh, that's the reason you throw it to the side and that that microphone will pick up I mean a lot of sounds out there in the woods um, it'll pick up turkeys that you didn't hear originally if you listen close to it you know those little clucks and purrs and stuff and once you get those kind of sounds on audio from real turkeys and start listening to them, that will help you a lot on how you should sound. Um, people tell you how to sound and all that, but they really don't know because for years I was putting at turkeys instead of clucking at turkeys. And one re reason I identified that is because of those audio tapes and videos that we were taking and you know we were seeing how the turkey was reacting to it and I mean they would actually you know jump whenever you whenever I tried to cluck at them and actually put it at them so that you know one of the best things you can do is uh, start recording your hunt so you can see what kind of sounds you're making and how the turkeys reacting to it so uh, but you know I, I got one on video that you know it was coming it was probably about 80 yards away well I decided to cluck at him which was actually a putt back then and that turkey took a right turn and I had to let him go on out and settle down and before I could actually call him back so uh, you know that's something that uh, you gotta Got to pay attention to your calling. Make sure you're clucking instead of putting, and we'll we'll cover some of that later on in videos. But I wanted to tell you about the little microphone since I went ahead and hooked it up and found one that I had used before and wanted to get it back on here. Um, another thing is uh, this time of the year, uh, turkey season's coming to an end, and you want to start. Uh, searching websites and everything for equipment that you're going to need for next year. Um, catch it on sale. No need and waste of money. Alright guys, y'all take care and uh, we'll see you next time. Alright, bye.